What's good, Charm City crew? My name is Matt. I am a shoe collar worker at Charm City Run. We are the soul of the city, and we have got all the hottest takes on the latest and greatest in the running world. You already know what it is. It's 2021. Get out, get active, and first things first, I would like to congratulate Bridget from Baltimore, Maryland. Congratulations, Bridget. You have won our shoe giveaway for the month of September. We are going to be reaching out to you for your free pair of Asics shoes. So we really look forward to working with you and getting you in that free pair of shoes. If you would like to get a chance to win a free pair of shoes at the end of this video, keep watching, we'll give you the instructions. Until then, let's look at a shoe to charm your socks off. All right, on this month's episode of Shoes to Charm Your Socks Off, we have the On Cloud Stratus 2.0. So the previous iteration of this shoe was actually more of a traditional stability shoe. They have actually made it a little more neutral now, although it still does have some stability components to it, but we will get into that as we go upward through the shoe. Um, ideal runs for this, this is going to be your road running shoe. I probably wouldn't wear it on trails just because rocks and things do tend to get stuck in that little uh, ridge down there at the bottom, so fantastic road shoe, probably not for trails though. Uh, this is going to be their maximum cushion shoe in their lineup. This is actually their most uh, cushion shoe to date. Uh, it does weigh in at 10.7 ounces for a men's 8.5, although even though it has all that cushion, it's not going to be a very plush, soft, pillowy shoe. It still does have that firm ride to it because all of those clouds on the bottom of it are meant to give you a very responsive um, push off for every step that you're taking. So. Again, like I said, use it for your longer run days. Uh, if you're training for your half or your full marathon, really great for your longer run days. Probably not going to choose it as my race day shoe or for tempo runs. So without further ado, let's work from the bottom up into this shoe. So first off, if you can see this outsole here, you've got that nice gripping rubber on the bottom where your foot is most likely to hit uh, just to give it a little more durability in all of those uh, high abrasion areas. Uh, they took off some of that material for spots where your foot is not likely to hit, takes off some of the weight. So always great to see that there, that they're thinking about where your foot strike is going to be as you're stepping through the shoe. And then since we are talking about on, a lot of their technology is going to be in this midsole here. So first off, the ON's Cloud Tech is going to be made of a foam called Helion, which is super, super lightweight and gives a little bit of a lighter cushion to it. Um, it's not going to be super soft, but really all about its responsiveness. On is all about energy efficiency and becoming a very responsive brand. And so if you're not familiar with this brand at all, they are big on running on clouds. So uh, even if you look in their box, it's all about clouds and running on clouds. But what does that mean? So all these little pods and bubbles that you see down here are what they call their clouds. And so if you compress each of those, you'll see that they're very, very responsive. Every step that you take is just going to be an explosion of energy right back into your next step. Um, the way that they are different from your traditional blocks of foams on some of your more traditional brands is when you're hitting the ground, it's not going to sink into the ground before it lets you step off into your next stride. It's actually going to immediately pop back with a burst of energy there for you. Um, another thing going on in that midsole is going to be the plastic speed board that runs through it. And that just gives the shoe a lot of extra pop in every step that you take, kind of like having a plate in the shoe, like we see with wave plates with Mizuno. Um, kind of the idea that carbon plated shoes have been going towards, but On has always been one to have that plate in the shoe to really give you a little bit of extra jump. So. A lot going on with those clouds there. Uh, this is going to be the first shoe that actually gave you two levels of those clouds down there. The first iteration really only had the double layer of those clouds in the back. Uh, and for that reason, I thought it made the back of the shoe super, super bouncy and the front almost felt like a different shoe. I think they've really improved on it by adding that double layer of clouds through the whole midsole of the shoe. And so, yeah, it's just gonna give you a lot of longevity in the ride of the shoe while still making it feel like a poppy lightweight shoe. 
uh, as we work up the shoe, uh, you do still have this external heel counter here. And it is asymmetrical, so it does go a little bit further onto the inside of the shoe, which does give you a little bit of stability as your foot is naturally striking the ground. It is going to kind of guide that heel to keep it from overpronating so much. The, uh, the inside of the sole is also going to be raised and elevated a little bit just to uh, keep that foot balanced. So like I said, it's a neutral shoe, so neutral runners are going to love it. But if you are someone who overpronates a little bit, this is the shoe for you as well. Uh, moving up to this top sole, On has a really nice caging to their shoes. Uh, I really like, too, that they're a very sustainable brand. In fact, 75% of the polyester that went into this shoe is recycled, and 20% of the entire shoe is made of recycled materials. So really this push for environmental shoes lately, I love it. I love that On is really leading the way in that aspect. Uh, as we get into their lacing system, you see their star lacing. You'll see this on some of their other shoes as well. I know the Cloud Flyer was, I think, one of the first to have that. It really helps lock down that toe box. Uh, this is going to be the widest toe box of On so far. And so just a lot of really great updates to this shoe. It makes it more of a shoe that everybody can wear. So really just a customer-friendly shoe that any runner can get behind and get into. Um, Improvements from the Cloud Stratus 1.0. Um, it is going to be a little bit lighter. They took off a lot of those heavy stability components to make it a shoe that um, overpronators and neutral runners can run in. So, like I said, kind of that hybrid shoe. And um, other things about On, if you don't know about On yet, they are a Swiss brand from Zurich, Switzerland. Um, created by three buddies that were really into making comfortable shoes that had a more energy efficient foot strike. And so if we look at that logo there, uh, on actually is to stand for turn your muscles on. And although it may look like a QU, that is actually an on switch right there. So that is what that brand is all about. Um, this is going to have an eight millimeter drop on tends to be your low to medium drop range for shoes. And this is going to be a $170 shoe. Uh, you are getting that premium max cushion there. Uh, I really think, personally, that On is a very durable shoe. It tends to last a little bit longer because you really wear out those clouds more individually, one at a time, than, like we said, that block of foam, which tends to wear out all at once no matter where you're hitting it. So I really think On does go the extra mile in that aspect. Um, other shoes I would compare this to, it's tricky because it is that hybrid shoe. I'd probably call it, uh, I would compare it to the Ultra Torin, the New Balance Moore, and probably the Hoka Clifton. So without further ado, I, uh, I would like to turn it over to my buddy Nick, who lives out in Seattle. Nick is an avid fan of Charm City Run. He has uh, come and visited our store many times, and it's a highlight of his whenever he comes out and visits Baltimore. So he did us a great favor and reviewed this shoe for us. So without further ado, Nick, take it away. Let's run it. Just got done running on these new On Cloud Stratus. They're a real solid shoe. I'm, I'm a neutral runner, so they feel good on my feet. On straight surfaces, flat surfaces, uphill, downhill. They're good and nice on my arches. They don't hurt my heels, and they feel solid on my toes. They're pretty lightweight. They're not waterproof, but that is not an issue for here in sunny Seattle. And I also like when they lace up. So yeah, those are the shoes. Thank you, Nick, for that awesome analysis, and thank you for being a part of our Charm City Run team. We really appreciate you. And so, the On Cloud Stratus is the shoe to charm your socks off this month. So let us know in the comments below, will you and the Cloud Stratus be soulmates? Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And we are going to be doing another free shoe giveaway this month. So if you would like a chance to win an on shoe, 
make sure you hit that like button, you subscribe, and you leave a comment. If you do not leave a comment, I will have no way to get in contact with you if you are our winner. Until the next one, Charm City crew, live, give, run. That's the mantra. Let's run it.